Hey guys, it's Ray over at Sahara Coins again. We just wanted to take a minute to show you some of the great things that we have that are a little unusual. A thousand ounce silver bars. It's like carrying out a loaf of bread made of silver. Uh, we also have a plenty of 100 ounce silver bars for you to come in and take a look at. And with some of the other cool things we just recently acquired, we've got some uh, silver bullets. 10 ounce, 5 ounce, 2 ounce, and 1 ounce. They're really great if you're big into bullets or silver. Either way, they're, they're great and they're an investment that pays back. So uh, we'd like to see you down here. Come on down and uh, get a hold of one of these. I just want to give you a quick intro to bullion. Uh, you hear that word a lot and a lot of people aren't real sure what it is. Uh, bullion moves with the, the regular market up and down all day long. So when gold and silver are trading every day, all day, the metals are moving with it. They're basically purchased just for their metal value. There's a lot of people who call themselves silver stackers. What that is, you're buying silver, you're putting it away for whatever reason. It could be investment, it could be for trading and bartering later on down the road. Um, you can consider gold bars bullion, silver bars, which we obviously have plenty of those in stock, um, platinum bars, anything that isn't necessarily a government minted coin, yet there are some government minted bullion forms that you can purchase. Um, here in Nevada, which is where we're located, um, there's different, different kinds of tax laws with bullion. Um, if you purchase bullion in the state of Nevada, if it does not have a face value denomination on it, it's not taxed. But if you buy something that does, then it is taxed. The way you can, you can kind of not get around it, but something that is a plus is that if we ship it out of the state of Nevada, you don't pay sales tax, you pay your shipping and insurance. So keep in mind, bullion is a great thing to diversify. If you have a bunch of cash laying around that you're not sure what to do with, put it into bullion. Bullion is not a bad investment. It does move quite a bit, but over time, if you dollar average, you'll be good to go. So remember that, and if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about semi-numismatics. Uh, they're borderline bullion and they're borderline numismatics. Basically the point of them is to help protect the value you own in bullion. So unlike a silver bar that moves every day, all day, semi-numismatics don't necessarily move 100% with the market. They might move with the market a little bit, but they also have a little bit of collector's value. Now they're not big key date coins that are gonna be worth tons and tons of money, but they do help to protect your, your initial investment you got into with bullion. Um, it is good to have both bullion and semi-numismatics. Uh, we can give you lots and lots of examples of both. Uh, come on down, take a look at them, and we'll teach you anything you need to know. Uh, numismatics are collectible coins. Uh, they make them you know, raw or certified, depending on what you prefer. Uh, numismatics are not necessarily tied to the market like semi-numismatics are partially and bullion is completely. Uh, sem or numismatics, as opposed to semi-numismatics, hold their value based on their collectability and what the market is doing as far as their trading. Uh, when you look at a numismatic coin, you're buying it based on its population, its rarity, and the condition of the coin. So there's the Sheldon grading scale that goes from one to 70. One being the lowest, 70 being the highest. The higher the grade, normally the higher the value. Uh, there's different levels of numismatics. There's gonna be common stuff that the price doesn't necessarily vary too much with the grade. And then there's the key dates where you can jump one grade and your coin can go up 50, 60, 70 thousand uh, dollars. Numismatics are also a great thing to help protect your value in all of your other investments. I was recently asked a question. A customer asked me, why is it important to have bullion, semi-numismatics, and numismatics in their portfolio? There's a few reasons, but I'll give you the basic rundown that I go by. Basically, it's this. If you own a bunch of bullion and it's moving with the market, you could have dollar averaged, you could have bought it way below spot, doesn't matter how it was purchased. You have a bunch of bullion sitting on your table. If the market were to go down even 40%, you're gonna lose 40% of your investment. If you buy semi-numismatics, you're gonna have coins, you're gonna have other little things that have a little bit of extra value. So if the market goes down 40% on those semi-numismatics, instead of losing 40%, you may only lose, say, 20%. It helps to protect it a little bit. Then and numismatics, on the other hand, they're not tied to the market. So unless it's a common day, you know, St. Gaudens, which would technically be considered semi-numismatic. So if you have a bunch of numismatics and the market goes down 40%, there's a chance you may drop maybe three or 4%, but you're gonna be protecting the other money that you have put in there so your whole portfolio doesn't go down. Diversity is key when you're buying bullion, semi-numismatics, and numismatics, and we believe it's important to have all of them in your portfolio. One of the things we find extremely important here is education. If you were to go buy a washer and dryer today, would you just go buy the first one you see? No, you're going to research it and find which one fits you the best. Coins, bullion, and semi-numismatics should all be the same. You need to know what you're looking for. You want to research it, be educated, and know exactly what you want. Uh, there's a few reasons why we think that's extremely important. One, 
your education is more valuable than your collection itself. If you go buy uneducated, you may end up buying something that has nowhere near the value that you thought it did when you purchased it. We wanna help you to become educated so that doesn't happen. And so you make sure that you're getting the most for every dollar you spend. So come on into the store and let us sit down and talk with you and help you to further your numismatic knowledge. We got another great piece that is extremely rare that I wanted to share with you. Uh, this here is a 10 kilo 2012 Year of the Dragon silver coin. You heard right, it's a coin and it's the size of a basketball. Uh, this here is gonna run you $19,500. It's number 12 in the series with all the original packaging, the original paperwork. This thing is a one of a kind. Well, it's number 12, so close. Come down, take a look at it. I can't really let you hold it because our cases are glass. Hey, we recently created something new for new collectors and our novice and our intermediate and our expert collectors. It's called SCU, Sahara Coins University. If you go to saharacoins.org, there's gonna be a lot of videos posted. They're gonna be informational videos. We really wanna make sure that we're educating the collector. We don't want you to feel like you're ever you know, in the dark when it comes to collecting. We want you to know just as much as we do. Um, one of the things we're doing this month on SCU is all the videos that are there, there's gonna be a question at the end of every video. You watch those videos, you get the, the information that we're teaching you, plus you can answer those questions. And at the end of the month, if you have all eight questions correct, we're gonna give away a $100 coin to one lucky winner that can answer all of them first. So make sure you take a look at all the videos, check out SCU, and we'll see you in the store. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We hope you liked it. If you did, go down and hit the like button. If you have any questions for me, make sure you leave a comment, and please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Uh, we're doing a coin giveaway here in June. Each video is gonna have a question. You need to answer that question correctly and bring them into the store. As long as all of them are correct, we're giving away a $100 coin. Go ahead and do that for us, and we hope to see you soon.